everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here today to review the market. I know no one's going to believe me <laughs> because no one believes sometimes some of the calls that I make that are crazy calls but turn out to be true. The market to everyone in the world except for me looks bearish after today's red day and then the follow through on the day today. I mean we actually are red on the day and we're going to close red on the day but I actually think we close today with a tail smug as a bug in a rug <laughs> over 190. <laughs> if that happens, which I do believe it does, even after the drop off today, because essentially this counts as a hold, even after the drop off from today, if we do that, this, I know this is, this is the crazy call I'm making that no one will believe. We are going to gap up tomorrow somewhere. Okay. It doesn't matter where, as long as we gap up anywhere, anywhere at all after the close of today, we are going to rally. We're just going to, we're just going to rally straight up. So I know that no one's going to believe me anymore, <laughs> but I saw this like maybe a half an hour ago, an hour ago or something like that. And I'm like, I'm just going to have to do a video because sometimes I see things like immediately and I'm like, Oh my Lanta. And I'm like, I have to get this on tape for myself to remember what I said. And then the room is closed. It's two 30. But what I'm telling you is that the shorts are going to be squeezed and trapped out of this in the rally that's going to happen that's just going to continue. We're going to have like a we're going to have like a week long rally. It's going to start tomorrow and a gap up. Tomorrow's Wednesday and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday we'll we'll just going to rally. So I know I know again no one believes me, but um, I see a continuous rally happening now after the stay today. So the stay today was the was the kicker that really brought in shorts, more shorts that are, will get blown on through because the volume will come in after today. Again, this is just my ability to be able to read institutional positioning in stocks and knowing that this area today, that today is probably the last of the down days we see in here for at least a week. Okay. So people are shorting this market that are traders, but not institutions like the people that control the market who are going to hold the market up. And this really is the area here. I don't know if we get over this area tomorrow because it depends where we gap up tomorrow that will determine if we get over this area. This is the area here where the market could just skyrocket over. Like we will just continuously rally all the way up to 200. But you know, what can I say? I just had to get this on tape because I saw it. And even though we broke the low of this bar here, which I didn't want us to, this still, we didn't really. So it's by two pennies that, that counts as a hold. So I wanted to see us hold this bar. We did. Boom. And we are going to gap up tomorrow. It could be a small gap, and a medium gap, a big gap. But once we do and then, and then trigger to buy setup, we should just, we're just going to rally. We're going to rally all the way up to 198, 200 in the course of the next week or two weeks. And we're going to close the day with a tail. Snug as a bug in a rug. Into a level of support in the market. So I know that many people read things the opposite of what I do, but this is one of the reasons I'm so successful is because I'm looking at the gaps. I know how to read institutional money. This is why I'm able to predict things so well. I'm predicting a gap up tomorrow. It could be small, medium, big. I'm predicting that we rally now continuously all the way up to this area, you know, and there you have it. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is a review of the SPY chart today on Tuesday, February 2nd. Have a great day, everyone.